two new professional photos have just been released of Harry and Meghan. What is your takeaway of these new images? Well, it's all in the timing, isn't it? It was quite polarizing because you, you had just two days before that incredible image of Charles and Camilla, the new Prince and Princess of Wales. It said, this is the future of the monarchy. And of course, so notable by their absence was Harry and Meghan. This is clearly the Sussexes just making a point. Here we have an alternative royal court across the pond. We're visible, we're bold and we're not going anywhere. Yeah, they can do royal a different way, We're right? doing, yeah, exactly. We're doing royal a different way. Meghan's been blamed for the rift at the heart of Windsor and um, for, for Megxit, mm. but actually, you know, was she just the catalyst that Harry needed to get out? She mm. was included and mentioned in King Charles's first speech to the nation. I want also to express my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas. Do you foresee, I know there's a lot of hypotheticals and speculations here that we are, are having to make, but could you see King Charles embracing her and having her be a part of the monarchy more? Well, you know, Charles actually always had a, a pretty good relationship with, right. with Meghan. It was Camilla who suggested that Charles walk Meghan up the aisle, yeah. and of course he did. I think it was a very proud moment for him. I mean, they enjoyed holidays in mm. Scotland together. It, it, you know, it went really wrong really quickly because actually Charles was sort of very supportive of them in the early days of the right. courtship, stepped in on, on the wedding day when, of course, Thomas Markle couldn't be over here. And I think he feels quite heartbroken by how it, it has spiralled downwards so quickly. And I think he is keen to, to repair that relationship. What do you know about Harry and Meghan's return to the US after the Queen's death? Well, they were certainly a, a major part of the of the, the days leading up to the Queen's funeral. I mean, we saw them on that walkabout in Windsor. Right. And I think every effort was made to include them as much as possible. I mean, we saw Meghan in the car with, with Sophie, right. the Countess of Wessex. You know, the concessions were made so that Harry could be in his uniform. The only time really I suppose they were demoted was when they weren't at the state reception the night before the funeral. But that's because they're not working members of the royal family. Right. But I think there was a clear message, you're in as family, but in terms of working royals, you're, you are not. you're not, you're out. And the Queen made it very clear that you were either in or out. Mm -hmm. And so I think they probably returned to California with very mixed emotions, mm -hmm. grief, possibly some regret over how things had panned out. I mean, don't forget that Harry and Meghan were invited to go to Balmoral to spend a weekend with the Queen with their children. In that summer, they chose not to go. Yeah. And so it must have been with heavy hearts, but I think also a, a sense of disappointment, of anger. Mm -hmm. I mean, Harry didn't look happy. Do you think King Charles will force an amendment between the brothers? Well. I, I think it's very difficult for, for the King to force a reconciliation on anyone. It's either going to happen or, or it's not. Right. And, and we know that, you know, Charles did have some conversations with Harry while he was over there, that there is this flicker of hope that mm. there can be a reconciliation. It is his genuine hope that he can smooth things out.